Hi everybody, it's Wednesday 31st of August 2016. This week's property chat, stand by. James, we've got some interesting news this week. We do have a separate video this week, which is going to come on your screen now in the top corner, all about a new bill aimed at uh, reducing homelessness by changing the way that tenants will uh, be evicted or otherwise. Yeah, there'll be some more details on that, as uh, as said. Um, so go over to that video if you did want to have a look. Yeah, uh, landlords, you'll probably be interested in that one. Um, but yeah, this week, uh, things been livened up again, yeah. um, even more so than last week, as we mentioned. A um, lot more action, a lot more buyers around, I think we've Indeed. seemed to find out, um, especially in that top end of the market. We saw a bit of a pause in that kind of region in the market just after Brexit happened. Yeah, especially north of a million. And yeah. now all of a sudden we've got offers coming in um, yeah. at those kind of levels. And also valuations too. Yeah. Um, so good to see, really. Um, so Definitely. next up, um, Bank of England. Yeah, this is an interesting one. The chief economist of the Bank of England, Andy Haldane is the guy's name, he's claimed that property is a better bet than pension, even though he has a gold-plated pension of £84,000 a year. Given the choice, he would opt for property, not stocks and shares or pension. And that's really significant because someone of his standing, one would expect that he would take a much more cautious approach. And there's all sorts of scandal about, oh, he shouldn't be saying such things. Guy's just saying what he thinks. This is the chief economist at the Bank of England. We should be listening, in my view. We've always been proponents of property, as you know, but it's just interesting coming from such a senior figure in the Bank of England to be uh, condoning property above pensions. Yeah, I think it's good to hear from someone else, because obviously from someone in that position, um, you can tell that they're not going to be biased towards property, because why would they be at the end of the day? But um, yeah, obviously we say it's a solid investment, because it is. Absolutely, um, and uh, yes. you know, in the medium term, it will always win out. We've always said. Next thing, website, James. Yeah, so we got the new website up. Uh, I think it looks really slick, really good uh, compared to the old one. I think it did need, need a few improvements, really, yeah, just to get with the modern day. I think that's right. Just needed freshening up. Yeah, yeah, we've now got some lovely pictures of Norbury on there. Yeah. We hope you enjoy it. There's also different ways of searching by map or you by partial word, that kind of thing. Much bigger pictures, so you can search more readily with bigger images. We hope you enjoy it. Head on over to jamesalexander.com if you want to have a look at that. Um, we'd be grateful to receive your comments on it too. Yep. So next up, we've got um, offset mortgages. Yeah. Um, offer better returns for savers. Savers. Well, yeah, indeed. What they're basically saying is that uh, if you have a mortgage where you can overpay and those interest payments are taken against your loan, then what that will mean is that your mortgage will be reduced. Example: Let's say you've got a mortgage of. 30,000 but savings of 20,000 you would only actually be charged the interest payments on the balance i.e. the 10,000 so if you do have a lot of cash coming in and out of your accounts it can be a really good way of getting your mortgage payments down and when the cash comes into your bank at the beginning of the month that you know whatever amount it is obviously that will not be chargeable against interest while it sits in your account so a really good thing to consider offset mortgages if you haven't already it can save you a lot of money over the medium to long term yeah, interesting stuff on that. Um, so, what's next? We've got Skipton's uh, 500th uh, yeah. buy to let. Well, this is an interesting one, yeah. We didn't know that there was a lender doing expat mortgages. We've always struggled with this, where our overseas landlords say, I'd like to raise some cash. And there don't seem to be many avenues, many places you can go to find finance. But apparently the Skipton are doing a special expat mortgages, and they've just done their 500th which isn't massive in the scheme of the UK actually, it's quite tiny, but well worth an approach. The Skipton Building Society, if you're an expat and you're looking for a mortgage, then they are available. Mm -hmm. 